social injustice. Now you going to hell behind that, brother. I mean, <laughs> you might the court system, but if you don't repent of murdering that guy, like that dude with, with, with Floyd, yeah. the problem just started. And Elder, how about, the ones that in, how about the ones in church? Pastors. I, I know. There's, there's pastors <laughs> that the people knew. Yeah. Person you know, they, 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 with somebody they, they, in the congregation. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the issue said, the scriptures, the Lord says that those who give them much, much is required. Yeah. Those who don't go will be beaten with a few stripes, but those who do will be beaten with many. But so you, you got to look at, look at David. David caught a heck of a beating yeah. behind what he did when you yeah. got it. Yeah. You know, his actions were the end of his kingdom. But what you know, you did, know what? The chain of a reaction that ended up with the end of Israel. But did you know what I'm saying? Let's look at the example. It was a prophet that came to confront him. Yeah. But the one he gave that letter to, well, I don't know who that uh, it was. You, it was, right? you, it was yeah. Uriah, but who gave it? He gave the letter to the general or something, right? He gave it to, yeah, he gave it to Uriah, who gave it to <laughs> one of the generals Uriah, out there, right? Uriah did what David told him to do. He said, man, like to the front line with his own death warrant. Even, even that, knowing that that was against the law. Yep. You know, Brother Addison? Yeah. But they, the guy was complicit in it. Now, well, now, now, I gotta this question. now, I don't know if he can say he's complicit unless he knows the oh, he knows. Uh, he the uh, purpose behind the orders. Because he if you get an order from a king, right. you, you, you just do what the king says. Now, so, that, that becomes a question, right? The king told him to do it, and the king ruled the sovereign. He could have literally yeah. had Uriah brought into the court and just killed yeah. him just because he didn't like him. He said, hey, man, I don't like you. Take it to your dog. That was within David's power to do because he was king in that environment. He was sovereign. Yeah. And that, but, that was, but that was the power of the guy that was commanding those forces on the ground. The if, he, if, the, if the commander does not know the intention behind the order, He's still mandated to carry it out. He's but my, mandated to carry it out. Well, and, well, well let's, let's make sure, let's make sure, let's make sure. You, you know, in our society, right? This is some of us, right? As a commander, uh, when it comes to you telling me specifically to put a particular person. See, now if you're telling me to take my platoon, one of my platoons, or my whole company to go up the hill, that, that, that's, where you're, that's where your authority is at, right? Mm -hmm. But if you you get down and say, I want you to put Brother Addison up front so he can get killed. See now well, that's I mean they did that 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 last qualifying sentence you used was not given to that commander. I, th I think you didn't say so. put him in the front so that he can he can be killed. What is that? You I did not so. tell that commander that. I yeah, think he, he did. Yeah. The letter told him. The letter said they put him in the heat of the battle. He did when, say. And when the fight start, they pull back and leave him at the box home. Right. Because you remember, knew exactly what he was doing when he, he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. Because if you remember, if you remember when they when when uh the guy put those people up front of the wall, he lost more than that Uriah's life. He lost oh, yeah, some yeah. of his life. Yeah. yeah. And David was upset. And the man said, Tell him. You ride the head side of the deck. Tell me, you ride the dead. Don't get mad with me. I have to. Uh, I have to read that again. Let me look at it. But the thing of it is, is that in a kingdom, the king rules the sovereign. Whatever he says goes. So, like I said, I think yeah. he, David would have been within his purview if he had said, "Just kill you right, yeah. right. Just kill him right, he, right, he, right he, off the, the bat. Yeah, um, you, you know, because he, like, just kill him. I'm, I'm just sick of looking at him. That's well, the right. I, I guess my point was trying to say is that. We as Christians, instead of being complicit sometimes, maybe we do need to be able to sit there, at least give advice to people yeah. who's trying to brag about what we used to do in the block. Remember when yeah. we was on the block? We sat there and everybody come out and talk their lies. Yeah. 
I think we also have to be mindful of us talking about a kingdom which resembles what God is intended on having, you yes, know, God. here on earth and our Western society form of government. Yes. They're, they're so opposite of each other and, and our, our government is sin nature, period. Mm. There's nothing good in it. You know, uh, there, there's good intentions. <laughs> But they're, they're, in the end thereof, there is death. Hey, hey, and you good know, intentions. Uh, hey, Brother Anson, there's good intentions to take on mailboxes and, and take them off the street, right? No, there was no nothing <laughs> good about that. There was nothing good about, about the mailbox saying. coming off. Yeah, I don't uh, know what they do, Anson. You know, you know what uh, that I didn't hear that one. Yeah, they it's, take it's, it's, it's bad. They it's, would it's take bad. it back. They've been told to take up mailboxes to help keep the, to, to what is called keep people from voting, turning their ballots into the to the post office, to the mailbox. Yeah, they but the problem people. is there are in in urban <laughs> communities. Woo! All all over <laughs> the, the 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 southeast. And they 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 stopped it before it got to the West Coast. Who did that? The west western part of the U.S. and so they said, "Well, we 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 we're not doing it on the on the western states." Who did that? Who who did that? Well, it's the it's, it's the uh, the person that's uh, oh, the general. Yeah, who is tied yeah. to to oh, yeah. to the White White House? Right. His 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 the president's person who was placed in there. Yeah. The postmaster general. <laughs> That's his But my, my thing is Trump back in office, it's gonna be man it's uh, back in office, it's gonna be really ill to face. Well, the crazy thing is th this is what what blows my mind. And this even goes back to even when Stacey Abrams was running. Yeah. Now you have people who are committing crimes. Mm to get their candidate in the office. Yeah. Right. So if you have to commit crimes to get your candidate in the office, what does that say about your candidate? What does that say about you? Mm -hmm. So no different than those guys who were picking up Stacey Abrams flyers, you know, in their, in those, uh, those placards in the yard. I mean, driving around, picking them up, ain't got caught, and right. then get mad about it and, right. and complain about it. It's like no different than this man running around here picking up these these mailboxes, yeah, these mailboxes all yeah. over the state. Right. You know, the the southern states and the, and the state in the uh, mailboxes in urban uh, areas of the United States. So if, and not only that, if a part of government Ooh. is blatantly Blatant. committing crimes to Come get on, a candidate in the office, what does that say about the government at, 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 as a whole? As a whole, right. You know, if, if, if you can call out and say that there is voter uh, uh, voter oppression by one party. Yeah. And you are doing voter oppression, then, you know, what, what, how much do you resemble Satan? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I if think you're just blatantly lying. In the, in the United States of America, we have allowed ourselves to become God. Whew. God out well, of that's small G anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, we done took on the big G for ourselves. We Woo. take that all our issues and our problems are when they're in house. They're, they're you know they're they're between the Republicans and the Democrats. They're between blacks and whites. But what are the issues really is between you and God? Yeah. Because God is sovereign. If He decides to take this nation in another direction, when His people line up with it, He can do it. Is the church not coming in alignment that's causing America to fall into the dump? And in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, 
it states it specifically is that if my people were to call by my name but humble themselves, I ain't mm-hmm. worried about the world system. Mr. Trump and, and all the Democrats and all the Republicans are a part of a corrupt system that thinks it's bigger and better than God is. We're not trying to prove the sovereignty of Mr. Trump or the Democrats. We're trying to prove the sovereignty of God. We are to demonstrate that sovereignty. What is Amen. God saying about the United States of America right now? Amen. And where his people at? What is what is God saying about homosexuality? What is God saying about racism? What is God saying about murder? What is God saying about these lies and treachery that you performing going against your own rules and regulations? What is God right. saying about your integrity? Mm. And the United States of America right now is on a global stage. Yeah. There's either going to be a revival in this nation or we're going to get torn down by God. Not yeah. by other people, not by each other. But it's going to be God's hand that comes against this nation to destroy. Well, you know, I, I, I think this nation is is not it's not subject to anything that God is doing. Mm. I think it's subject to God not protecting it. Legit. Yeah. You know, God, God not holding back. Because you know, yeah, God, God moves His protection. Yes, sir. So of it, He's, it's not that He's going to come in and destroy all this other stuff. That's not happening until right. the end times. Right. God has done what He's going to do. Yeah, He's right. already given us everything that we need. So he's to, giving us this entity to, that acts like a buzzsaw. He said he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yeah. You gotta go and turn him over to him. Like Paul yeah, said. Yeah, he does. He just pulls him. back his protection, yeah. and yep. the enemy comes in and does what he, he destroys. what he does. Yeah. So that's that's what we have to realize. And uh and I and I I'm like, well, don't apologize for being so uh protective of, of my father. In uh-huh. that way, but it, it it bothers me when people say that God is doing things that He has not done. No, or He no, is I not would, doing. Uh, you know, I, and I just have to protect Him, no different than I would protect either one of, of you guys if some somebody was saying something that that's not true. But what, God, what, what, God what, is not. It, when you look at it, ultimately, being sovereign and in control of all things, He can stop anything. It's yeah. not like. He's, he's not responding to anything. It's like he knows it's going to happen. Yeah. So the ultimate, that, and this, and this, what you're saying is, is really, a, 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 to me, a foundational truth because this is what we have to build off and move off, build on and off of. It's not pleasing men or defeating men. Like he told him in the garden, he said, if you do not will, will you not also be rewarded? Mm-hmm. Our competition, and again, white men, our competition is with ourselves to, to please God. Yes. White men's competition ain't against black people. It wasn't us that's gonna deal with them, it's gonna be God. He's gonna do if they get replaced, it won't be called black folks replaced them. <laughs> It'll be called God replaced them because they were not fit for the position. They were they were defiled. And I think that's the same thing with us. We talk about white black people and how they doing us an injustice. But what injustice do we do to ourselves when we flaunt ourselves like we do in our society? Exactly. There, there is nothing like you mentioned. There's none right among us. Nobody wants to please God anymore. Nobody's scared of God. We scared. Of, we're more scared of the president and each other than we are God. What we are, Elder, is we're we're more fearful of losing our physical life, and that that has become the norm in this world. When you look at those those early Christians. This life meant nothing when it came to a choice between it and serving God. Right. They were willing to die. Yeah. But you, you know, know now now they weren't they weren't going to die. You know, they weren't choosing to die, but when death was was put at their you know, when it was inevitable, they choose to go with God yeah. instead of trying to save their life. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if if, yeah, if you're put in a position to where you have a choice, you either serve God or you save your life, this physical life. When you when you make a choice in that matter, I think that, that that's when it becomes, you know, uh, uh, 
I don't I don't know how, what to put it, but to call it a strike against you. You know, when it when it comes to God, now God yeah. will forgive you, and you're under grace. Yeah. You know, but it's that fear of losing this physical life that prevents us from making choices and and taking actions against those things that are against our own Father. Yeah. That are. Con